project has really been a collaboration between fine artists and really skilled ceramic artisans. We really focus on developing enterprises and the Half Square is one of those enterprises. The Spear Arts Academy is an employment-based apprenticeship. The studio is an extremely exciting space and creative environment. The focus that we've got is to have it more as a laboratory to develop new product lines. It was handed over to Pumzile Yenga, one of the apprentices that has gone through the three-year apprenticeship program. And in July this year, he would then move into his own studio and would then be in charge of the production of Half Squares. I wanted to grow within the company, so it started there. Then I built myself towards that goal. The way that they structure it, it's more or less like empowering the young so-called disadvantaged communities. So my plan also is to go towards that route and empower other people to manage their own studios in the long term. We would like to see the half square panel being something that is a little bit more commercial, that is available to the public to buy for in your kitchen, in your shower, in your bathrooms. So we would like to see the product become a lot more commercial. It is going to change my life immensely, support-wise, because uh, for a long time I, could, I wasn't able to support my family. So now this opportunity has come, it's, it's high time for me to be able to support my family and make it sustainable. Lisa Grobler has, has got a long-term relationship and has contributed to the Nando's collection for, for many, many years. She's been very successful in having her work interpreted into the half square medium. Well, artists are always enticed by, you know, can you do this and can you do that? And the idea is that as far as possible, we want to say nothing is impossible, no color is impossible in ceramics. Some are more difficult, but we do try to really create a palette of glazes which our artists can play with like they would do with their oils or their pencils. We have called it a half square instead of a triangle because it's literally a perfect square cut from corner to corner. We have 600 colours available. Up to now we've been focusing on collaborating with artists but the wonderful thing about the half square project is that it is beautiful individual old tiles and it could be used by designers and the general public. So the work's called Honeydew and it's an interpretation from a photograph that I took I made a site-specific installation in the cradle of humankind just outside of Johannesburg last year for a winter sculpture show. So I made these large objects that looked a bit like nests or dew drops or honey drops and they were installed in the trees around this pond and the original work was titled Honey Drops and this work is Honey Dew and, and so they kind of related and I often tie in works that's temporary with sort of more permanent works. So this new work that will be in Chicago is referencing that space. I think whenever I come up with a design or an idea or concept, I'm very aware of the space for which it's made and the relationship between the viewer and, and the work. We're working with handmade tiles. I think it's about 116 different colors that we've selected. You know, the thing with the half square designs are that, that because you're working with half pixels, you always have a semi-abstraction, so the image is not never photographic. I'm quite interested in color and how, how it affects people, just, you know, placing different colors within a new space. But also I've looked at the designs for this restaurant, and so I hoped to create a design that would also relate to other elements within the Nando's restaurant. Once we pack it out on the floor, we obviously try to stay as close to the design as possible. When you view it at this point, you really need to decide how you are going to manually manipulate it so that it works in this medium. And that's actually the important process. And then sometimes, just to, to make the design resonate more, I might even pull an entire color and, and replace it with something completely different, not even a different shade, but a completely different color to make it work. The tweaking of the, the design really towards the end is really all about 
changing the tile direction and using the complementary colours in certain areas and actually making them work together so that they build structure, so that they enhance the form. Mm -hmm.